action. What's your name? Uh, Ollie Small, or uh, people know me as .com. Okay. What genre do you play? Uh, dubstep mainly, but I play the drum and bass and house from time to time. When did you first discover your love for music? Uh, after I went to MTV 2017, I went with my mates and I saw Martin Garrix live and I just fell in love with him really and then I just wanted to make my own music and become a DJ and I just went on from there. How did you come up with your artist name? <laughs> it's kind of a dumb story but it was, um, I originally was called Brew as we many knew from my friends anyway but um, I wasn't really feeling the name anymore because um, that was kind of tropical house all that shit and then um, just all the emails I filled out for shows at the end of every email as everyone else does dot com they just stuck for me it's really stupid but it's been with me from the start and it's just yeah what was the first track that you released? Uh, I'm the name Brew of course it was uh, called No More which uh, probably as people know is my best track where was your first show? My kitchen. <laughs> Where the house got destroyed. Let's yeah. start. We're in the kitchen, lads. <laughs> what was life like growing up? Confused, that uh, <laughs> um, It was, I would say, easy at times. Especially when I was four, I guess, uh, like what, um, when I was growing up. And when I hit five, life just got weird for me, I guess, because I was at school and all that. And then the secondary, just life and shit. It's like, kind of, so it's weird. It's like, I don't even know how sometimes I go through it, but like, yeah, just went from okay to um, the worst shit you can ever go through. And it just, it, was, it wasn't a good growing up, it was horrible at times, you know. What are your biggest moments in your career? Playing Water Fest on main stage, I was pretty groovy. I really enjoyed that. Um, releasing an actual track, I was pretty mad. Uh, Game fans as well and support was probably one. I know it's not a big achievement to some, but for me it was unreal just getting people who actually like music or they support you. Like I've had some fakies in the past, I've had like friends who say, oh, I love music, and then they just fuck off, it's like, they don't actually care about it. But I've had some real friends who actually care, and stuck with me, even after Rave Day, as many people know, so they just stuck with me, and it's, uh, they're not real people, so. What are your future plans? Uh, Rave Day 2 next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, moving to next year, uh, that especially. Uh, hopefully, do plan to release an EP in the next upcoming years or next year. Um, what's, uh, I want to play big shows, mad shows. But yeah. What three words best describe you as an artist? Uh, Heavy. <laughs> I think we can both agree on that, yeah. yeah. Heavy. Very energetic, I'm honest. <laughs> Heavy, energetic. I'm really bouncing on stage, as people know. Looks great. Uh, uh, heavy, energetic, and. Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Has. Anyone helped you get to where you are now? Uh, as I mentioned, my friends obviously, the support, that's mad. Family, yeah, I've been there, thick and thin, through bad, bad times and that. Support them, uh, and they support me, and it's just mad. Uh, I was going to say, get on with that one. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> in the description below, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, friends and family have really helped me. And teachers obviously join me from outside the book. Uh, we obviously do, yeah. All right. Hope he doesn't hear this. All right, that's all the questions. Bye.